reviewing here this bread pan um and as you can see i've got my bread i just made in here it is cooled down so the bottom is a little bit warm but cool enough for me to touch it here now so what i like about this is it is a very nice beautiful elegant design um it has these holes in the bottom there as you can see which is unlike a lot of other loaf pans so that allows for really even um baking of whatever it is that you're baking in here so i like to use it for bread which i've obviously done here today for um that we will have with our soup um here for lunch but you could definitely use it for like a meatloaf or something like that I really like that this particular pan does come with the uh, lid here so that you can keep it a little bit more whoops, airtight than um, if you didn't. So if you don't want as brown of a crust, that would also help and also help to keep heat in if you are trying to really evenly bake something. I was just going for a super simple bread um, that didn't really require that. So I did not bake my little lid on here. However, now I can store the bread back in here after we're done um, with whatever's left over. Also comes with these great little tools. So this is used for like scraping your bowl to help get the sticky batter off of it. Um, this one as well. And then these guys here you can see are for like designing your... Um, the top of your bread if you're doing like artisan breads or want to get like a little bit artsy with your um creations in the kitchens as well so um i also do use these to help just like clean up flour on the counter and that kind of thing um so great tools love that they come with the hole punch so that i can just hang them on a command hook in a cabinet um or on like a ring or something like that as well so I'm going to explain to you how I made this loaf of bread here. So this is super, super simple. Um, I can make this all year round. Love that it will just work with any meal or just like for toast or something like that. So I do bread in a bag, which is really fun for our kiddos to get involved with too. Um, so what you do is one gallon bag and then you will add one cup of flour. And I have to look at my recipe here. One cup of flour with one fourth cup of sugar and I use rapid rise yeast so that I don't have to let it rise for quite as long because um, I never do enough planning. So one packet of rapid rise yeast. So mix them all together in a bowl and then pour that mixture into your um, bag. After that, put your one warm cup of water into your gallon size bag mix it up squish it up this is the part the kids really like and then let it rest for about 10 minutes bubbles will start to form and that's a good thing after that 10 minutes is up go ahead and add in um, another cup of flour with one teaspoon of salt uh, and then a fourth cup of salted butter that has melted and cooled a bit um, so mix that all into your bread. Go ahead. You don't have to let it sit for 10 minutes after it's really well mixed and that kind of thing. Uh, and then after that's all well mixed in, then you will add in your one last uh, cup of flour. Um, and each time you're doing that and adding to the bag, you want to make sure to get the air out before you start mixing it all up and that kind of thing as well. So after you've got that last cup of flour in, then you're gonna mix that bag up and it's gonna start pulling away from the bag and that's also a good sign. Then you will take very well floured hands, well floured table, so that's where this comes in handy for helping clean up messes as well, um, and knead the dough for about 10 minutes. Uh, and then after that, go ahead and place your um, dough ball into the pan. I cover it with a tea towel and then let it sit on our dryer while it was letting, uh, while it was drying clothes to help it rise a little bit. You could also place it on top of your oven or something like that as well. Um, so let it rise for about 30 to 45 minutes and then bake at 375 for about 25 minutes. And with that recipe, you will get this wonderful loaf. I'm tempted to almost like double the recipe so I get a bigger loaf because it tastes so good and we burn through it really quick, but it's probably good for my diet that I only do a small one here. So as you can see with the pan here, it comes out so easily. I literally 
have nothing left over in there. Um, it's got a perfect browned crust. I cannot wait to have this with our soup here. Um, but there you have it. This pan is just truly amazing. So I'm super, super happy with it and um, would definitely recommend it if you're in the market for a new loaf pan, whether it's for bread all year round or for like your meatloaf and cooking, that kind of thing.